We're back with something a little different this week. It's been over five months since the last profile of this foundational tool, so let's see what we can see and do what we can do. This week, we'll be looking at the GD baseline developed in 2014. Not Gordita, not Gold Digger, and not Gosh Darn It. GD stands for Generalized DEMA, which breaks down to Generalized Double Exponential Moving Average. So GD works just fine. The math in this one is pretty straightforward, but how it's applied is where the magic is. It's got elements of volume, exponential moving averages, price data, and naturally anything with the moving average, a specified number of periods, and appears as a price overlay, single line, baseline. As this probably isn't your first rodeo, we'll skip a lot of the redundant material. However, if you are new to this, a baseline provides the overarching indication to determine if price is trending up or down, and a valid signal occurs when price crosses and closes above the signal line for a long trade or crosses and closes below the signal line for a short trade. As we did in the blog, we opted to make some minor changes in the settings to better illustrate the signals. There were no specific numbers, just totally random settings. So without further delay, let's get into it with the New Zealand dollar against the Japanese yen. We'll pick it up here with this first long signal. It's faint, but this big bear candle posted a long tail which crossed below the signal line. This is not a signal to exit as it did not cross and close. Stick to your guns. With some definite volatility in the market, a number of things could have happened here. You could have been out on the second half of your trade with the first price dump, or you could have been stopped out on that second price dump. Whatever the case, you'd have walked away with a tidy profit on this trade. We had a little profit on this one, at least on the first half of your trade. Then a strong move up. Let's see how far it carries. Nice move up with an equally strong move down for the end of that trade. Let's see how this short does for us. All right, we've got a teachable moment here. In the past, some have asked if a baseline can be an exit. By definition, a baseline is not an exit, however, if price reverses so quickly that your other confirmation indicators or exit indicator have not caught up to price action, it certainly can provide a signal to close a trade before reaching your stop loss. And just like that, we've got a new signal. But odds are pretty good that your algorithm is still in a short condition, so this could be a new trade. Oh, and a quick reminder, your volume indicator does not have to agree. It's the only time it doesn't. There would have been profit in that short trade before price backed over itself and taking you out on that strong move to the upside. Let's see what's next. We had a couple of price reversals with varying results on trades. It's not the indicator's fault. The price during this period was somewhat choppy, and depending on your algorithm, you may have just been on the sidelines during this period of market indecision. That was a solid run up, hitting your first take profit with the trailing stop kicking in for profits on your second half. Price took a tumble, and now we're looking at a short. Okay, a loser. No big deal. Mark it in your journal and get back to work. And more volatility keeps things interesting. A possible loser or no trade depending on what your algorithm would have signaled. We're still in a jumpy market here, so most algorithms would have been in conflict with regard to signals, which means that it's doing its job. Just because you get a signal with one indicator does not mean go. But you already knew that, right? Wow, that huge move up was amazing. There was that small initial rise in reverse, but had you weathered that small reversal, you would have been in that trade for many weeks. Huge profit. Now a short. And we're current with regard to this market and nicely into profits. So how did this rate? Was it a killer baseline? The results in the blog tell a better picture, so be sure you check them out before venturing in on your own. This was not the easiest chart to analyze. We did this on purpose because trendy markets are easy to trade. When you're reviewing charts for your own trades, 
you'll have challenges to work through, so you must learn to navigate them logically. Yeah, no, we're not going to provide anybody with financial advice. Trading this market is doable and the game is winnable. It just takes some effort, a sprinkle of perseverance, adherence to the rules, and you too can do it. And we can help. Shorten the learning curve many times over by taking the advanced course. After all, what is your time worth? The indicator has been added to the library, so go get it for yourself. It's free, and who knows, you may just find yourself in love with it. Our only goal is to make you a better trader.